down to 11, making red mana. Oh, no! Wow! And we don't... Hmm. Weathered Wayfarer. Get a Plains. Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom, and you can pre-order Commander Legends now over at CardKingdom.com. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Much A Brew About Nothing, and we have a sweet one this week. I'm actually really hyped for this modern deck. This is Mono White Devotion, but it's Mono White Devotion with a bit of a twist. We are playing a card that I haven't seen for a long time. There was a brief, glorious moment where Mastery of the Unseen, for like one or two weekends, was all the rage and standard with ridiculous board states and people at like 500 life when games end in a draw and i have not seen mastery of the unseen since i don't know 2014 or whatever it was in standard for those couple of weekends when it was good but this deck is built around the power of manifesting with our devotion mana also got some life gain synergies does have a combo for finishing off the game but we will talk about mastery of the unseen mono white devotion jump into a league see it in action so of course we're a devotion deck why are we a devotion deck the answer is to make a ton of mana with Nykthos Shrine to Nyx, and we're going kind of deep on the Nykthos plan to the point where our mana base is Nykthos, Plains, and Border Posts. Border Posts are essentially a tapped land that makes white mana, ups our devotion to Nykthos, but has the drawback of dying to artifact removal. So we can get Stone Rained by, like, Abrades or double Stone Rained by Ancient Grudges, but this is our mana base. This is our primary game plan. We even have Weathered Wayfarer as a way to tutor up our Nykthos. That's how bad we want Nykthos. Nykthos is. Uh, Nykthos is central to what our deck is trying to do. Even multiples can be good in some cases, because we can like make a bunch of mana, play a second one, Legend will make a bunch more mana, do some crazy things. So why are we all about making ridiculous amounts of mana with Nykthos? And the answer here is Mastery of the Unseen of all things. So Mastery of the Unseen, two mana enchantment. When a permanent you control is flip face up, you get to gain a life for each creature you control, and then you can pay three to manifest the top card of your library. You put it into play, face down is a 2-2 creature. If it's a creature, you can flip it up for its mana cost. So the idea is we can make a bunch of mana with Nykthos and a bunch of random white mana symbols and then activate Mastery of the Unseen multiple times each turn to make these two twos. Some of those two twos will be creatures with white mana symbols that we can flip up cheaply to make even more mana with Nykthos the next time while also gaining a bunch of life based on the number of creatures we have into play. So it just kind of snowballs by itself. Against control we can sneak in under counters. Against aggro it makes blockers and gain us life. So outside of like combo being a bad matchup. Mastery of Unseen actually does crazy things in most matchups if we have a ton of mana from Nykthos. We also have some life gain synergies, uh, and these synergies also provide a bunch of white mana symbols. Uh, that's kind of the two things our deck wants, gaining life and also adding white mana symbols. So Soul Attendant, Oriac Champion, Daxos, all white mana symbols or double white mana symbols that also gain us life when creatures come into play. The reason why we care about gaining life is our main plan for actually killing our opponent outside of just making a ton of two twos with Mastery of the Unseen is life gain base. We have Heliod Suncrown, so when we gain life, we put counters on things with the help of Soul Attendant, Oriac Champion, Daxos, and Mastery of the Unseen gaining us life. When we flip things up, we can grow our small creatures into big threats to win the game. Archangel of Thune puts a counter on everything when we gain a life. If we can get that down, along with some Soul Sister effects, our entire board will get really big, really, really quick quickly, so that's kind of our main plan for closing out the game. We also do have the Walking Ballista combo, so we can potentially just Heliod, give Walking Ballista life link with a couple of counters, ping our opponent to death, hitting our opponent, adding the counter back with Heliod, pinging, adding, pinging, adding until our opponent dies. I don't think this is like the main plan of our deck. We're not tutoring it up or anything like that. It's just something we can randomly end up doing, essentially. We can just kind of backdoor into it, so sometimes we might win with a combo, but really, we're mostly a life game value based deck that's gonna win with Archangel, gonna win with Manifesto Kids. Otherwise, we have a bit of interaction in a weird way. Rune Halo is our removal spell, but it does add two white mana symbols to the battlefield. Leyline is say to the really hit or miss. Some matchups in insane against Burn, against Thought Seizes, other decks that need to target us. Other matchups, it doesn't do much of anything, but even when it's bad, it is still two free white mana symbols to increase our devotion for Nykthos. Otherwise, in the sideboard, 
We get a bunch more removal options, Skyclave Apparition, Path to Exile, Relic Warder for Artifacts and Enchantments, another Rune Halo, we get Graveyard Hated Recipes, Great Abolisher for Control, Ghost Quarter, I guess for like Primeval Titan decks. The one thing I will say about our sideboard, and about our deck in general, is we are a little lacking on stuff to fight spell-based combo. I'm not seeing much here that's good against like Storm or Ad Nauseum, stuff like that, so eh, we'll see. Uh, it seems like we got a lot of tools for aggro, tons of life gain, we have some good options for Control, what do we do if you're running to spell-based combo. I guess we figure that out as we go along. And anyway, that is Mono White Mastery of the Unseen Devotion for Modern. That is our Munch Brew deck for this week. Let's jump into our league, see it in action. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll be back in a bit with a wrap-up. All right, Munch Brew about nothing time. We are devoted <laughs> this week. Like some uh, mastery of the unseen mono white devotion in modern and uh we can't keep this border post makes us pick up a basic land so uh yeah that's not gonna do anything um hmm all right well i ugh. i don't think we can go to five here we'll keep this probably put a ley line to the bottom i mean ley line does just get some people so maybe maybe perhaps Let's see what our opponent's doing please be burned or a deck full of discard spells. Either one. Uh, more planes. Well, land go. Mastery of the Unseen would be a sweet draw here. Also, Nykthos at some point. Or maybe just a Heliod for the combo. Swamp for opponent. Oh boy, they probably do have a handful of discard. Blood Crypt. Untapped. Magmatic Channel. Ah, sure. Well, that is Mastery. Play Mastery. Pass the turn. Oh, Nykthos would be sweet now. Now that's the card we want most is Nykthos. Start making a bunch of uh, mastery tokens. This magmatic channeler is big for our opponent because it lets them discard their dead thought seizes and draw more dead thought seizes. Polluter Delta. <laughs> and we can't actually kill this, can we? At least not easily. Blood Crypt. Untapped. Trying to get in Death Shadow range. Liliana. Takes up. We discard a Plains. <laughs> Blood Moon. I would have shut down our Nykthos. Another Ballista, A. Eh? Well, play Knight of the White Orchid. Get a Plains. <sighs> play a Plains. Do we want to Ballista on one? Is it even worth it? Yeah, let's Ballista on one. Because I think we want to start Mastering next turn. So our opponents can take up, make us discard Walking Ballista. The good news is the Sliliana, all it can do is take up for discard. It can't take down to make a Sacrifice or Ultimate because of Ley Line. So this Ley Line's actually been very good. Opponent takes up discards all around so i mean worst case we can start making a a manifest token every turn all right fatal pushes well we will i guess ping liliana i'm not sure pinging our opponent super helpful because it uh gets them closer to death shadowing bolts and knight of the white orchid okay oh gonna get frisky yeah it's us down to 16 oh we draw more masteries um yeah, I don't actually think we want to play it. I think we'd rather just start making mastery tokens. The bad news is we're low enough on life that our opponent can uh, scourge here. Takes up, a braid, and mastery. Opponent goes to combat. Well, I guess we take four this turn. Down to 12. And season, ooh, season Pyromancer draw two is good. Well, that's mastery. Manifest into Heliod. Oh, we're actually close to turning that on, too. About it passes. Ooh, Nykthos. So this makes the same amount of mana. Well, let's pass. Oh, we're so close. So, so close to where we want to be. Yeah, pass the turn. Oh, this is super close. Opponent untaps. Opponent did just draw a bunch of cards. Takes up. Discards. Well, now we just want essentially anything with white mana symbols to increase our devotion to make more more mastery tokens or manifests. Opponent, going to discard to draw. Hits Croxa and Season Pyromancer. Those are hits. Takes Croxa. Plays Croxa. Hits us. Down to nine. And, well, let's flip this. We don't actually gain a life, but... Okay. Come on, white things. Bonet hits us down to... Ooh, seven. Oh, this is so close. We untap. 
Nykthos. Well, make Nykthos mana. Manifest. Play Nykthos. Keep the new one. <laughs> Pass the turn. <laughs> Opponent untaps. We're still a devotion away from this Heliod. If our opponent finds a land, they can get back this Croxa, which is not great. Yeah, opponent's going to dig for a land. Opponent's going to find a land. All right, here comes Croxa. Yes, Channelers went off. Opponent cracks. Hits us. Down to four. Uh-huh. Will this be the death of us? Maybe. Down to four. Ticks up, Liliana. Well, let's manifest. Really need some white cre- Oh, two border posts. All right, opponent. Goes attacking. Well, we will kill the pyromancer. Stay at four. Untap. All right, Oriok champion. Oriok champion's a good one. All right, pass the turn. So we're not dead. We're not dead yet. We're not dead yet. <laughs> oh, boy, this is close. Opponent untaps. Croxa can hit us to one. Opponent discards Liliana. Fides. Oh, no! Oh, what a hit. What a hit. So now we have to manifest a creature? Oh, that's so unfortunate that that's how that happened. We have to manifest a creature that's two or less. Mastery. Nykthos. And that's game. Wow. Oh, my goodness, that's unfortunate. ay 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 Well... Uh, I mean, I think the big problem there was was really that we uh, just could not answer that Magmatic Channeler. That was essentially the game. Oh, wow. We needed, like, half of a turn. If we had half of a turn, we would have stabilized in one. But uh, we did not find that half a turn. So, what do we change here? Maybe we got on one Angel. Leyline seems good. Skyclaves and paths in. Maybe go down the soul attendance, run it like that. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. I think our opponent had to hit exactly Croxa there. Or they are very likely to lose that game. But they did get to Magmatic Channeler a roughly infinite number of times because we just didn't have removal and uh, we didn't manifest particularly well. We kept manifesting border posts. We needed a creature that we could flip. Well, all right. We will keep because we have a ley line and because ley line's very good against our opponent's deck. The rest of the sand's pretty medium. But I mean, the ley line's good. Ruined Halo shuts down Croxa. Path can answer a magmatic channeler. Opponent passes. Eh, well, there's a Heliod. Um, hmm. Uh, do we want to play Ruined Halo? Let's just pass. Opponent. The upside would be it would turn on Heliod. But do we want Heliod turned on on an empty battlefield? Like, Heliod into Rune Halo still turns it on. Opponent. Oh, boy. Oh, play the land. Play Heliod. Nykthos would be nice. Opponent cracks. It's a Triome. And why do we have these cards hovering? Opponent's passing. Well, Border Post. Pick up a land. Replay the land. Rune Halo. Name. Yeah, let's just name Croxa. Turn on Heliod. Get in with Heliod. Opponent down to 14. And, I mean, if our opponent does not start finding lands, they are going to be in trouble. All right, opponent does find a land, but it might just be too late for our opponent, honestly. Wow, they have Feed the Swarm. All right. Sure. Opponent passes. Well, good news is we top deck another ley line, so. <laughs> All for naught. <laughs> Hitch it out of five. <laughs> Oh, uh, and uh, that should do it. I mean, Leyline is super good. It is annoying that our opponent has Feed the Swarm to deal with our enchantments, but I don't think it's going to make a difference here. Opponent, come on, show us another one. Show us another one to go to one. <laughs> uh, wow, they really do. Okay, opponent goes to one. Well, now we can win in any number of ways. Uh, I think we'll just go with Oriag Champion. And uh, the 5-5 five, five beatdown. <laughs> Good enough. <gasps> oh, Potus gives it up. Okay. Okay, okay. I mean, that went much better. Yeah, run it back. So it is scary to know that our opponent has Feed the Swarm in their deck. And multiple copies of it. 
On the other hand, our opponent spent eight life feed the swarming and uh, was kind of punished as a result. Well, okay. No. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to keep this. No, um, no Nykthos, but we do have Leyline. Opponent. Pything Needle. <laughs> what are they named? Hopefully not Mastery. That would be annoying. Although, I guess Skyclave gets rid of it eventually if we can find it. The problem for our opponent is Heliod also has a really good activated ability. All right, goes with Heliod. Sure, 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 sure. Well, play of planes, and <sighs> let's pass. We've seen a lot of abrades. We don't have a Nick though, so I don't know if there's a ton of value to just running out this border post at the moment. Oh boy, our friend Channeler. Yeah. Oh, there's Apparition though. Well, play Mastery of the Unseen. Well, now we would like a Nick though, for sure. Being able to get rid of this Channeler is good, because this Channeler gave us all kinds of issues last game. Discards Liliana, hits Channeler, Pie Thing Needle. Takes a Needle. Well, I assume this one's going on Mastery. Ugh, that is annoying. Oh, Bli- okay. Well, that's fine. Apparently our opponent does not care about this Mastery <laughs> Unseen. <laughs> They've had multiple Pithy Needles, and uh, just don't care. Uh, so, well... I think the safest play here is just Skyclave away this Channeler and pass the turn. Don't really want our opponent going off like they did in game one, just drawing infinite cards. Oh, come on, Nick Thos. Season Pyromancer to draw not infinite cards, but cards. Dreadbore, Pyromancer discarded. Sure. I mean, Heliod's still a 5 5 indestructible. That's still reasonable. Ruined Halo. Well, so. Play a Heliod. Play a Plains. Now we will border post. Picking up a Plains. Make sure our devotion stays high enough that even if our opponent kills Skyclave, we still have Heliod. And, uh, all right, your go, opponent. <laughs> we might not be able to activate our Heliod, but it still exists, and it is still big. Another channeler. Boy, Nykthos would be so good on this board state. So, so good. Opponent cracks. It's a swamp and ooh, feed this. Okay. Well, thankfully we got another one of those. Come on, Nick, those spelled it passing. Well, we will play mastery of this unseen play a planes. And yeah, I guess we just pass again. Nick, those cha, 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 opponent untaps. We mostly want Nick, those so we can mastery multiple times. Opponent going to start channeling, discard the land. Uh, seasoned Pyromancer Engineered Explosives. Not bad. All right, goes with Seasoned Pyromancer. Explosives would have answered our uh, our mastery. Opponent, going to discard and draw. Wow, I just don't care about Engineered Explosives. Land, and. Wouldn't mind getting rid of this channeler. Opponent. Passing. All right, what do we find? Ooh, Path. All right, well, Path Channeler. Pass the turn. Gonna hold on to the land. Hmm. Gonna hold on to the land because of Croxa. We don't want to discard the ruined halo. Well, I have another. Um. All right, kill Skyclave. Well, opponent's out of cards and out of card draw. And we still have Heliod, and we can start mastering. Opponent. All right, gonna go on the big attack. Well, that's mastery. Oh, we wanted that. We really wanted that. Well, block and block. Oh, that's our Nykthos. Oh, we wanted that Nykthos so badly. Go to 14. Opponent. Dreadbore's the Manifest. Okay. And passes. Well, play Oriac Champion. Play a Plains. Pass the turn. Actually, let's hit our opponent. I think we can be a little aggro now. This Champion's very good. We can still Manifest. We're going to start gaining life. Oh, that Nykthos. We want a Nykthos, though. A Nykthos lets us go off at the moment. Opponent tapping much mana. Makes a couple elementals. We gain a couple life. And things might be going well now. Uh, grow Oriac Champion. Grow Oriac Champion. Opponent. I'm gonna keep going for it. <laughs> Alright, opponent's passing. Well, we will manifest... Master and Zena is sweet. Gain a life. Grow the Oriac Champion. Untap. Well, let's border post. Pick up the planes. 
play the planes and yeah, get in with Heliod. Opponent can jump block for a while, but we're going to gain a lot of life now because we get to start flipping up. Like, we can flip up this Knight of the White Orchid. Ooh, explosives on two. Okay. That's actually decent for our opponent because it does get rid of our mastery. Well, we will mastery, grow a manifest, and uh, lose our mastery, unfortunately, and our Oriac champion, which we did like. Hmm. Okay, yeah. So stuff dies. Opponent passes. We draw a land. Well, go to combat. Attack you. Opponent going to chub. Yeah, they can make these 1-1s one -ones for days now. Ugh. Losing that mastery was brutal. Opponent. Opponents hit so many engineered explosives. Season Pyromancer returns. Make some more dorks. Opponent passes. We draw. Well, Oriac Champion's fine. Play Oriac Champion. Go to combat. Attack our opponent. Opponent blocks. <laughs> Pass the turn. If we can ever find a our second Skyclave apparition to get rid of Pithing Needle, it's very good. Opponent passes. Another Rune Halo. I don't go to combat. Attack our opponent. Opponent chumps. Pass the turn. Opponent cracks down to 11. <laughs> now we actually don't care about Nykthos, now that we lost our mastery. So what do we want? Another mastery, Archangel of Thune. Opponent Liliana, sure. Takes it up. We will discard a Plades. Opponent discards also a land. And passes. Another Heliod. Well, go to combat. Attack our opponent. Actually, do we want to kill Liliana? Do we care about Liliana? They've already f used one feed the swarm. Yeah, let's attack Liliana. Like, the nightmare is it gets up to enough counters that it can take down. Uh, they can feed the swarm away our ley line. And then ultimate. That would be very bad for us. Opponent is slowly losing their board, though. Like, they're, this chump blocking every turn, the abyss mode of Heliod is uh, is helping. Opponent ticks up. We'll discard Heliod 2. Opponent, another land. And opponent. I mean, if we have to, we can ruin Halo Liliana to you to stop the ultimate if we get worried about that. Well, go to combat. Tag our opponent. Attack our opponent. Attack our opponent. Ugh. All right, let's just Heliod our opponent. At some point, they're going to block with Season Pyromancer and make two more tokens, but then they're almost out of Season Pyromancers. Um, all right, let's just pass again. Opponent. Wow, opponents hit a lot of lands in a row, too, which is not helping them. Well, we'll discard a land. Opponent. Passes. Well, border post. Pick up a planes. And now I think we have to rune Halo Liliana, just in case. Like... There's not many ways that we can lose from here, I don't think. But one of them, one of them would be Feed the Swarm on Leyline, Ultimate Liliana. All right, opponent drops to six. They can season Pyromancer to make a couple more jump blockers. Well, not yet. Opponent finds Kroxa. Well, grow Oriac Champion. We discard a land. Drop to 16. Growing this Oriac Champion is helpful, too, because our opponent can only block it with this Illusion. So getting this big enough to attack back this Illusion lets us close out this game pretty quickly. All right, it returns. Yup. Well, Oriac Champion. Counter on Oriac Champion. We lose a Rune Halo. Opponent gets a Croxa, which is not a huge issue because we have Heliod. Opponent taking up. Sure, sure, sure. And... Passes. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Well, yeah, let's go for it. Ballistax 2. Grow Oriok Champion. We can't actually activate the Ballista, though. So I assume this attack just gets eaten by the Illusion. All right, opponent's going to go to woo, 2. Okay. <laughs> Untaps. I mean, now a Path to Exile is lethal. To get rid of that one blocker, opponent, 
Lightning Bolt's the manifest, sure. Doesn't really matter. Croxa does hit it, get to hit us for three a turn, but we can block it with uh, with our Heliod. Opponent passes, gets back, sees a pyramid. All right, token. Any way to kill the token, which I think has to be our one path to exile, but uh, yes, we will grow Walking Ballista and grow Walking Ballista. Untap. Path? Or yeah, champion. Well, that's fine. Play champion. Who we got the GG's. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, it worked. The Oriac champions are really good at this matchup, even through the feed the swarms, blowing up most of our goodies. But uh, yeah, that was <laughs> that was kind of a sweet performance for this deck, honestly. Pony had all the answers in their Rakdos deck, which still, oh, come on, Wizards, come on. Rakdos blowing up enchantments, really now? But didn't matter. And uh, our ley lines, ley lines were super huge. And then eventually, even through all of our combos being shut down, eventually just value them out. Yeah, all right, sweet, sweet. All right. Oh, this hand. This hand. That we haven't nicked those, but we have just essentially six lands. Ugh. We are uh, mono weight devotioning in modern this week for Macho Brew. And uh, as much as Nykthos is a card we want to see most in our opening hand, I don't think we can keep six lands Heliod. Could it work out? Yes. Is it likely to work out? Probably not. Um, hmm. Well, let's put Rune Halo to the bottom, I guess. This hand is good, but a little risky if our opponent can kill slash... Oh, dear. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Permeable Titan time. What do we do? I was going to say it's risky if they can kill our border post, but you know what's even more risky? Getting smashed to death instantly by by a Permeable Titan that we can't really stop. <laughs> we might have to walking blister the scout. That's so bad, but... Opponent, Abriel Grazer... Actually, I don't know. At this point, maybe it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Bounce land. Our opponent just might have so much. Yeah, I don't even know if it makes a difference at this point. So I think our game plan is going to have to be to try to combo off. So play the planes. Border post. Play weathered wayfarer. Weathered wayfarer is good. That does mean, I mean, we'll see if we can live long enough. But it does mean we can get a Nykthos. And hopefully use Nykthos. My oh, opponent has a land on top. To make enough mana to go infinite and win that way before we die to zombies in prime times. Uh, po, nant, passin. Well, we will, hmm, play the land, play ruined halo on primeval titan. Pass the turn. We can weathered wayfare out a Nykthos? And go from there. Opponent. Yeah, more lands. Teleri West. So we can get a Primeval Titan. And Primeval Titan can make a bunch of zombies. But it doesn't just straight up beat us because... So I assume our opponent, like, taps, floats, Teleri West. I mean, I guess they can't Primeval Titan this turn anyway. They got to wait one more turn. Yeah, Teleri West. For Summoner's Pact. Opponent gets it for two. Sure, sure, sure. Well, we will Weathered Wayfarer, grab a Nykthos, untap, uh, Border Post, pick up the planes, Nykthos, make some mana, so we can't quite win this turn, right? Yeah. Is there anything else we should name? Well, let's play Heliod. Play Ruined Halo on... I guess we named Valakut, <laughs> just in case. And then Weathered Wayfarer for a Nykthos. Pass the turn. Okay, so our opponent could get and play a Primeval Titan, but I don't think this Primeval Titan is going to beat us. Are we just going to win this game? So there's a prime time. Opponent's going to play it. There's no Amulet, though. Yeah, Primeval Titan. So I think we should be able to just win with this Ballista and our ridiculous amount of mana. Which is super ridiculous at the moment. Uh, put it. Opponent also doesn't have any blue mana, so we shouldn't have to worry about counters. I guess worst case, we can just mastery. Try to <laughs> out-zombie Field of the Dead <laughs> with, with manifest tokens. 
And uh, Nick, those mana, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana symbols right now. So we're going to have 20-ish mana. That is, a, that is a good amount. That is that is a lot of mana. Opponent. So we're going to get another Talario S for next turn. Make some zombies, which we don't really care about. Wow. They had Primeval Titan on top of their deck. They shuffled right back into it. Radiant Fountain. Well, if we win, we're going to deal infinite damage. So we don't really care about that. Opponent. Passes. Another Heliod. Well, uh, all right. So we will make some mana play another Nykthos, make some mana, Ballista, X2, and opponent cannot beat the combo, and our opponent did their thing, their thing just was not good enough, not good enough to win the game. Uh, the scary thing is, I mean, I guess we get a Ghost Quarter, <laughs> but uh, we don't actually have much, like, Path, I guess, is okay, we could bring in Removal. Relic, I don't think we want. We'll probably bring in Skyclave Apparition. How good is Leyline? Maybe it stops a... Maybe it stops a Valakut kill. Maybe. I'm sure our opponent has answers. All right, let's go down. Go down the lay, uh, the ley lines. Bring in four removal spells. Run it like that. And the Ghost Quarter over planes. Well, I mean, that shows the ridiculous things our deck can do. Opponent was making mana, but... If we can start tutoring up Nykthoses, we can make a lot of mana. Well, this is a s example of <laughs> the downside of the Border Post plan, which is they're not just actual lands that you can run out. Oh, good lord. Uh, all right, we're keeping this. We are keeping this, and we are hoping that we draw White Source. Um, huh. Well, let's put Rune Halo to the bottom, I guess. All right, we need another White Source. But then we have a lot of mana symbols and the ability to nick those. Opponent passes, White Source. All right, well, Weathered Wayfarer awkwardly might be tutoring up a... Oh, they're saying Mulat. Awkwardly might have to tutor up a Plains here. Castle Garen Brig for our opponent. Floats... Oh, double A Mulat. Okay. Opponent passes. We draw Plains. Archangel, well, Weathered Wayfarer. Sadly have to take a Plains and pass... Ooh, I am super scared of where our opponent is at here. We gotta hope they don't have Bounce Land and don't have Formable Titan, or else we are in scary shape. Breeding Pool. Untaps. Well, that is Titan Mana. Do they have the Titan in hand? If they do, we're probably dead. All right, no Titan yet. Opponent passing. Hmm. Well, Weathered Wayfair. Get a Planes. Play the Planes. Oriok champion. Pass the turn. Okay. We're almost to the making mana with Nykthos part of the game. Almost. Can we fade prime time for another turn or two? Well, there's a bounce land. I mean, our opponent's got all the mana. The question is, do they find... Ooh. Did they just need a blue source for... Oh, uh, Teleri West? Yeah. All right. So now there's a Titan, and now... Well, we'll see. My guess is that we're dead with two amulets because they can just tighten into tighten into tighten. And I don't think we can stop that. Hmm. Prime time. We get to gain a life. Hooray. Yes, please. Yeah, if it was one tighten, I think we'd have a chance, but I assume this is just tighten into tighten into tighten. Or at least two tightens, I would guess. Next turn, we still don't really get to do anything. Like, we can add a couple more white mana symbols to the battlefield. Unfortunately, they had double amulet. If they only had one, the Sky uh, Clave Apparition would be good, but... Huh. All right, Bounce Land to Lario West. Interesting. Well, I guess this still works because of the Secure Tribe Scout and the double amulet. So you get to double float mana with Telerio West and then pick it up. Opponent. Yeah, making a ton of mana. Well, this is kind of what I was worried about. Opponent. Telerio West. Summoner's Pact. Puts a land into play. Is there any way we're going to be able to win with a Ghost Quarter? I don't think so. Summoner's Pact. I mean, our opponent's going to have to pay eight, but that shouldn't be a problem. Primeval Titan. Another Primeval Titan. We gain a life. Just going to, like, double haste in the Primeval Titans? Probably. Looks like. So, Valica. Yeah, can we scoop now? Yeah, I think we're just... 
Yeah, there's... I mean, even if we don't literally die this turn, what are we going to do next turn? Play an Oriac champion? <laughs> that is not going to uh, to save us there. Well, they do have Valakuts. That's good to know. Well, let's run it back. Run it back. I feel like this is the tough matchup, though. We saw how we can win it in game one. But uh, that was because there was no Amulet in play. The Amulet is the card. I mean, maybe it's worth bringing in Relic Order just to get Amulets. I feel like it's not really. But I guess it's probably better than Daxos, right? Like, this doesn't seem like a matchup where incidental life gain is going to be very helpful. Is it horrible? No, but it's not super helpful. All right, let's try, let's try the Relic Orders. Because Amulet does... Getting rid of an Amulet does slow our opponent down a bit. Okay... This is a fine hand, although it doesn't really do anything specifically to combat our opponent's deck. Radiant Fountain, bring in some life, and no amulet. Okay. Apply the land, border post. Pass the turn. So next turn we can knight and play something else. Opponent explores, and bounce lands, and passes. Oh, that's Nykthos. Well, we will play Knight of the White Orchid. Get a Plains. Play the Plains. Oriok Champion. Pass the turn. Well, come on, Ballista. If we top deck Walking Ballista, that might be enough. Opponent passing. Relic Order. Well, play Nykthos. Make some mana. Play Heliod. Gain a life. Grow Knight of the White Orchid, Life Link, and is there even any reason to play Ruined Halo yet? What's the worst that can happen? I mean, I guess we could have played it for free. I just don't know. What we, yeah, let's just wait. We can play it for free because of Nykthos. I just don't know what we want to name. Opponent. Ooh, Dismembers Heliod. All right, that's awkward. Okay, well, we're going to need to find a threat. That is actually one of the... One of the few clean answers our opponent could have. Well, opponent goes to 60. We go to 25. Another bounce land. They're getting close to the natural primeval titan. Opponent passes. Mastery of the Unseen would be interesting. More Heliods would be interesting. More Nykthoses. <laughs> Beast with... Okay, that's fine. Beast with the Nykthos. We gain a life. Well, we will play Ruined Halo on primeval titan? I think... Uh... Yeah, let's name Primeval Titan. Play the planes. Hitch ya. The problem is once the zombies start coming, it's going to be very difficult to uh, win with combat damage. We're going to need... Oh, we need the Heliod. Radiant Fountain. Opponent gains some life. Has Primeval Titan. Yeah, like, so what do we do about this now? Yeah, we really needed the Heliod. We have a ton of mana, but what are we going to do with it? Relic Order? For nothing? Opponent gets Teleria West, so they can get another Primeval Titan. Opponent passes. We draw. Well, all right. Path Primeval Titan. Go to combat. Attack you. But the zombies are still coming. <laughs> Opponent goes to seven. I'll pass the turn. Opponent gets another Primeval Titan. This one going to come along with zombies. Summoner's Pact, Primeval Titan. Yup. There's the prime time. And opponent plays it. We gain a life. But now it's zombie mode, so how do we get in seven points of damage? Like, we don't take damage from Primeval Titan, but Runelo does not stop the zombies. Gain life, gain life. Opponent passes. How much mana do we have? Eight, nine, ten, eleven. If we attack with everything, our opponent blocks. Blocks, blocks, blocks? I mean, they obviously block. All right, let's run out Relic Order. Gain a life. <clears throat> Pass the turn. Well, we'll see. Opponent's got to pay four, but they can easily do that because Primeval Titan and still have ridiculous amounts of mana left over. Opponent, combat. Attacks it. Hmm. Gonna attack with the zombies. Interesting. The other issue is our opponent could definitely have a counter. Or tutor up a counter. More zombies. Well, we gain life. We gain life. We gain life. We gain life. 
We gain life. Is it worth killing the Primeval Titan? It does cost us mana symbols. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So one, two, tap, thirteen. Uh, I think we have to try to play towards this Ballista being lethal. Like, right now, if we top deck a land, we can technically Ballista for 14, da or for 14 mana or 7 damage. But, Azusa, okay. That is going to mean fading a counter. Zombies. And zombies. Oh, imagine if we had Heliod out while this was happening. We would have a big something. Pwn adds mana. Secret Drive Scout. Up to 41. Where's our Felidaire Sovereign? <laughs> Come on! Oh, they could have a counter. Well, we gotta go for it if we draw it. <laughs> Skyclave Apparition, eh? Whoa! Oh, that's a... That is a draw. Another beast within. Oh, that's real, real, real bad for us. Well, Skyclave Apparition. Get rid of the Azusa. Gain a life. Oh, okay, well, <clears throat> yeah, that's that's not good. Two Nykthos is blown up. Pona attaps. Has an amulet. And a bounce. Oh, okay, so that, that does it. The bounce land lets him pick up Telerio West. Gets more Primeval Titans. And now we don't even get a, we don't even get a turn. Oh, well, that is unfortunate how this one turned out i mean i feel like this is a a pretty tough matchup because like what do you do about this there's a reason that primeval titan along with uro is a card that people keep bringing up is possibly necessary to ban out of the format because ha huh, yeah like like what do you do about this what do you do about this sadly we are so close our opponent also did manage to double beast within our, uh, our Nykthos is. I mean, I think this is clearly just game, but... Opponent, Summoner's Pact. Imagine that. <laughs> opponent, opponent really thought about what zero drop they wanted. They could have taken a basic forest, and instead they decide on a Primeval Titan. Probably a a wise choice. I'm uh, gonna go with Dryad. All right, and now we will officially scoop. Dryad, Valica, everything miserable. And yeah. Hi! Primeval Titan decks, Primeval Titan decks. Well, oh, we got to go off at of game one. Game two was Primeval Titan run over. Game three, we were super, super close. Like, we were within a mana of getting the Walking Ballista win. But uh, those Beast Withens, doing work. All right, Mono White Devotion time uh, in modern today for Much Brew. And we're going to keep this... It's a little land heavy, but Leyline is really good in some matchups. We have Oriag Champion, and uh, Archangel's a good payoff. So this is not a super explosive hand. It's going to be very matchup dependent. There's some matchups where Leyline plus Oriag Champion probably just wins us the game. Uh, unfortunately, Ad Nauseam is not one of those matchups. <laughs> okay, Oriag Champion, go. So the problem here is they win with... Thassa's Oracle, and Thassa's Oracle does not care about our ley line. Opponent, Gemstone Mine. Oh, it doesn't care about Rude Halo either. Ugh! We might have the wrong hate cards for this matchup. <laughs> you know, the combat attack. Uh... Do we even cast Rune Halo? It is white mana symbols. It just doesn't do anything. <laughs> I mean, I guess two white mana symbols is something in case we draw Nykthos. And I mean, I guess we... What do we even name, though? Hmm. <sighs> is there any Is there any relevant card? Let, let's look at a Ad Nauseam deck real quick. <laughs> I don't think there's any relevant card. Since we already have... We already have Lightning Storm shut down. Um... Where did our, where did our deck list go? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, okay, so I guess we named something funny. What is the funniest card to name in modern? There's got to be something. Can't even name Hans, all right. Well, the whole fallback. <laughs> Here we go. 
a bonnet, please don't kill us. Zegram Ghost, Bona Bazes. Well, Oriac Champion. Go, go, life gain. Unfortunately, I'm not even sure we have sideboard cards that interact with uh, Ad Nauseam, which is super awkward. Well, play the land. Go to combat. Hit ya. Down to 17. Look out, Ad Nauseam. We are coming for you, opponent. Well, this is a turn where they should be able to kill us. Lotus Bloom. Yeah. City of Brass. Angel's Grace. Ad Nauseam. And we scoop it up. So, I mean, the the win condition here is... All right, there's Thassa's Oracle. So, our opponent, they have one mana. They can Simeon Spirit Guide, Pentad Prism, Thassa's Oracle, win the game. So, yeah. Yeah, this is... This feels like a matchup that we almost can't win. Like, look at our sideboard. I guess Skyclave Apparitions and Relic Warders are better than, than a incidental life gain like how how do we beat this deck i guess really honestly it's probably heliod it's probably heliod walking ballista like that's that might be our only our only realistic chance here path does nothing rest in peace does nothing grand abolisher doesn't really do anything ruined halo hmm i mean maybe we keep the soul attendance because soul attendance can potentially speed up the heliod combo and I think that's our, like, we can't disrupt our opponent. So I think our possible way of winning is just to race them. Doesn't seem super, well, okay. We got no Ballista. Well, Planes and Border Post go. We got no Ballista, but we do have the Heliod and a Life Gain Effect. Opponent, Temple. Yeah. And passes. Well, there's the Nykthos. That's not bad. Well, Planes. Pick it up for a border post. Weathered Wayfarer, go. Opponent. There's a Lotus Bloom. I mean, we could play, like, Rule of Laws and stuff. I wonder... Eh, I don't know. I don't know if Ad Nauseam's... It is, like, a s solid second tier. Tier 1.5 deck at the moment. Is it worth... Eh, we probably want more combo hate in our sideboard anyway. Well, let's see what we find. Not sure why our opponent's got this upkeep stop set. Upkeep stop set. We draw a ley line. I'll play the planes. Oriok champion. I think we'd rather just find a land than hit for one, so pass the turn. Opponent taking down the Lotus Bloom. City of Brass. Unlife. Oh boy, things are getting worse. Uh, well, Weather Wayfair. Grab us a Nykthos, please. Dang Nykthos. Untap. I'll play the land. Five, six mana? Hmm. I'll play Heliod. Gain a life. Counter on Oriok Champion. Weathered Wayfarer. Thin the deck. I mean, I think... Ooh, I think our hope is to top deck Ballista. Hit ya. Oh, they could win this turn. If they had exactly the right cards. If not, when this Lotus Bloom come down. So we have a turn, perhaps? Maybe a turn. Oh, come on, Ballista. Come on, ba Oh, Planes. Planes doesn't help. Planes doesn't do anything. Um, so. Well, Nykthos. Leyline. Yeah, this isn't good. Nykthos. Keep the new one. Leyline, because why not? Uh, Weathered Wayfarer, more Nykthos is Lifelink Oriac Champion, hit ya. Oh, we have so much mana, but so few ways of winning. Hit our opponent, grow the Oriac Champion, and, well, now we hope that Ad Nauseam doesn't have it. <laughs> and Ad Nauseam always has it. <laughs> opponent. Spoils of the vault. Yeah, so now they now they definitely have it. Well, hmm. What did they name? Ad nauseum. Do they some Thassa's Oracle, Thassa's Oracle, Lightning Storm. Oh, these bounces both of our ley lines. So they get to draw their deck here. 
Fortunately for our opponent, they exiled a ton of cards, but I think they only hit one Simeon Spirit Guide, two Thassa's Oracles. So that I think, oh my goodness, they exiled. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, <laughs> I guess we found out how we can win, which is we need to get incredibly lucky. <laughs> I guess our opponent must have only had two Thassa's Oracles and one Lightning Storm in their deck, and they just exiled all of their, <laughs> all of their ways to win. Ah. Uh, Thassa's Oracle is an annoying win condition. Good lord. Like, it gets around Rune Halo. It gets around our life gain. Well, run it back. All right, well, let's hope our opponent kills themselves again. <laughs> that is our hope and our dream. Well, okay, we'll keep this. We got the Ballista. Weathered Wayfinder should be able to uh, find us a Nykthos. Yep. Opponent. Scries. How do they scry? Uh, we'll play Weathered Wayfair. Scryed one to the top. Pass the turn. Well, here comes a Lotus Bloom. Gemstone Mine for our opponent. And Pentad Prism. So opponent's got all the mana. Well, we will Weathered Wayfair for a Nygthos. Play it past the turn. So we can snag something with Skyclave Apparition, but with Lotus Bloom and Pentad Prism. All right. Opponent. Ooh, okay, this gives us a bit of hope. I'll play the planes. Skyclave Apparition. Get rid of the Unlife. Well, so now our opponent needs something else. They need something else. They need another Unlife. They need the Angel's Grace. So we did answer a thing, but does our opponent have redundancy? That's one of the upsides of Ad Nauseum is it's just super redundant. Another City of Brass. Come on, no Angel's Grace. Opponent's passing? Okay. Well, let's uh, make some mana. Play... Hmm. Hmm. Play Archangel. Go to combat. Smack ya. Oh, hold. Hold. Put it on taps. Come on. No top decks. No top decks. Gemstone mine. Opponent passes. Well, hmm. Make some mana. Oriok champion. Oriok champion. Grow the team. Opponent. Doing something. Down to 11, making red mana. Oh, no! Wow! And we don't... Hmm. Weathered Wayfair. Get a Plains. Does our opponent have a land? Oh, my God, they don't. Oh! <gasps> Oh my goodness, that worked! Oh my goodness, that worked! <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god, I can't believe that worked! <laughs> yes! Wow! I have. I don't think I have ever, and I don't even know how many tens or hundreds of matches against Ad Nauseam. I don't think I've ever successfully redirected a lightning storm. And that was really the game. Like, if they kill the Skyclave Apparition, we're super dead. I I do not believe that. Well, huh. That feels like a really hard matchup, but we found a way. <laughs> that was not a likely win, but uh, yeah, well, we will take it. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Woo. Wow. <coughs> All right. Much brew about nothing time. We are devotioning, and ooh, yeah, we'll keep this. This hand's interesting. Uh, we technically have two lands, thanks to the border post, although one of them's tapped. We have some life gain. I guess we need another land for Heliod, and Nykthos would be the best. Hmm. Oh, play a land, play Soul Attendant. And Weathered Wayfarer, go. Ship the turn. We'd really like Weathered Wayfarer to live so we can get a Nykthos. Uh, opponent disagrees. Well, huh. Now we're hoping to get down the Heliod, I guess. Opponent. Oh, dear. Uh, land, please. Yeah, that's a, well, that is a land. So we will play Daxos. We still need another land. That's a tough start for us. Get in, hit ya. Fatal Bush and a Braid to blow up a land, essentially. Well, down to 16. 
Oh, Heliad would be so good. Oh my god, all the removal. Opponent bolts Art Daxos. Plays a Bloodstained Mire. Cracks a Bloodstained Mire. Gets a Mountain and Magmatic Channeler. Yup. Well, land? Mm, border Post. Well, okay. Border Post, pick it up. Replay it. Play Mastery of the Unseen. Go. This Channeler is not good for us, though. That's a lot of card draw. Very worried about a Thought Seize. Liliana. Takes down, gets rid of Soul Attendant. Dread Bores. Finds a Thought Seize, but can't cast it. Well, we will play a. Huh. Heliod. Go. Nick Thos. Nick Thos. This is a matchup where Leyline's really good. But uh, no Leyline this game. Opponent, land, and Hazaret. Interesting. That was not expected. Opponent. Well, okay. So we take a huge beating, but we do get to kill the Liliana. We'll discard Mastery of the Unseen. Well, play. Oh, we don't get to kill it. Oh, no. Oh, this is so bad. Pass. Oh, we're dead. Oh, this is a knife. Hazaret. Hazaret. Hazaret is not normally good against us, but wow, did our opponent have the removal this game. Opponent. Thought seizes our Heliod. Takes down Liliana. Well, we need a draw. We need a draw, and we need it right now this turn. Opponent hits us for nine. <laughs> I don't think Nykthos does it, though. We can Mastery of the Unseen, but we're still just dead. Oh, wow, so close. Border pose, yeah. Yeah, we're dead to attack plus discard. Hey! Oh, we're up against, uh, we're up against Willy. All right, well, that makes sense. No wonder there was so much removal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. So opponent, Rakdos, Croxa. Oh, we really want a ley line. So let's go down one Archangel. Go down a Daxos. Go down a Soul Attendant and a Knight of the White Orchid. Go up two Skyclaves, two Path to Exiles. R run it like that. Oh, that braid was brutal. Main deck land destruction. <laughs> Uh, so I think that Leyline is almost what we want most. I think that, assuming we don't get picked apart by Discard, I think this is a good matchup for us. Hmm. The full combo with two Nykthoses, but not much to do with it. Do we even keep it? I mean, Nykthos is good. It doesn't do anything forever, but it is good. Ugh. Yeah, it's Mulligan. Well, okay. This hand I like. Put a planes to the bottom. Start with a ley line. I mean, we do have to trust that our deck is going to uh, cooperate and give us some finishers, because we don't actually have any way of killing our opponent, but ley line should give our opponent a lot of dead cards. Heliod is very good. Well, play the land past the turn. Ley line also means our opponent can't Liliana away our Heliod, which is especially helpful. Opponent gets a Triome. I do like the showcase triumphs. No idea what colors they add, but <laughs> they look good. Opponent <clears throat> getting a swamp for a magmatic Shenala. Hmm. Yeah, I think we get rid of that. Skyclave apparition. Snag the channeler. Don't really want our opponent to get to start drawing cards and getting rid of their dead discard spells. Blackleaf cliffs. All right. Bolts apparition. Sure. Oh no. Feed the swarm. That's not great. Well, uh, play Heliod. Oh, feed the swarm. Oh, I hate feed the swarm. Oh, I hate that card so much. <laughs> oh, you should not be able to play Rakdos and blow up my ley line. That is just wrong. It is. It is wrong. <laughs> Bonus. He's a pyromancer. Well, can we fight some uh, some action? Discards a couple of dead cards, draws some new ones, and plays a Bloodstained Mire, gets in for zero. Well, Weather Wayfair. Gotta give our opponent something to kill with their removal spells. Weather Wayfair doesn't even do anything at the moment, honestly. Mastery of the Unseen might be the card that we want to draw most here. Opponent has more removal, Dreadbore, and a Swamp, and gonna go attacking. All right, deck. All right. Oriac Champion, Mastery of the Unseen. <laughs> path to Exile. Well, I guess we got to pass. Opponent. Combat. 
hits us for five. Yeah. Swiftly dying down to ten. And a Croxa, which I guess we got a path right now. Drop to seven? Oh, boy. So we're at a draw something good or bust mode here, unfortunately. Another Heliod. That's not what we were looking for. Oh, this is went super awkwardly. Hmm. Well, maybe this matchup isn't as good as I thought about it. Gets it, hits us. Down to two. And Bolt. Blood Crypt. Tapped. Border Post. And now we are officially dead. Awkward. All right. Much brew about nothing time. We are looking to Mono White Devotion in Modern. And uh, that sounds okay. Land and Border Post. Okay. His hand's gonna need to nick those. We'll see. Whether we. Oh, uh, hopefully this isn't Storm. Steam vents for our opponent. Um. Well, play the land. Play weathered wayfair. Border post. Go. Live. Live. <laughs> uh, being able to get a nick those with weathered wayfair would really uh further our game plan. Let's say. Put it. Ops. Hmm. Well, we'll see. Spell based combo is not a. Not the dream for our deck. Flooded Strad for our opponent. And passes. Were we actually going to be able to get Nykthos? That's sweet. Uh, so, play a Plains and Oriok Champion. And pass the turn. No attacks. Well, what's our opponent trying to do? That is the question. Is there a combo kill lurking? Opponent cracks. Gets an island. Arc may just charm to draw a couple cards. All right, so it's just... It's just counter spell time. Well, the question is going to be, can we resolve Mastery of the Unseen? Mastery of the Unseen, I think, is the card that lets us win this game. About it. Passing. Well, we will... Weathered Wayfair for Nykthos. Untap. Play Nykthos. Make some mana. Play Rune Halo. Opponent. Island. Okay, Cryptic Counterbounce. Well, play Mastery of the Unseen. Border Post, Weathered Wayfair, Nykthos, go. Well, <laughs> hopefully we're not dying to something. Pony down to 17. Untaps. What do we think our point's doing? They could be like a Kiki combo deck. Mystic Sanctuary. To get back Cryptic, I assume. Wow, gonna get back opt. Okay. Oh, gonna get back nothing. Oh, are we dead then? Are we getting through the breached? Make manic? Okay, sure. That's fine. Opponent passes. Well, we will play. Uh, Weathered Wayfair. All right, gain a life. Planes. Go. Uh, no attacks because of Snapcaster. All right, let's see what they got. Opponent ops to the bottom. Up uh, it. Well, they did have a snapcaster for opt. I mean, the question is just how are we dying? Like, what way does our opponent have of actually winning the game? We actually don't lose to Deceiver Exarch. Pester might would kill us with the Kiki combo. Opponent scries to the bottom. We will gain a life. Opponent untaps. Land. Emrakul through the breach is what we're most scared of. Opponent, no attacks. Well, we will make some mana. And mastery of the unseen. Opponent bounces a border post, draws a card. Sure. Opponent really loves bouncing border posts. Ley line, okay. Gain a life. Untap. Well, we will make some mana, border post, pick up a planes, soul attendant, gain some life, soul attendant, gain some life, 
nick those two, keep the new one, make some mana, mastery of the unseen. Uh, let's auto yield these. Auto yes, auto yield. Mastery of the unseen is doing some work this game. Uh, yes and yes. Knight of the White Orchid and hmm. Yeah, let's mastery. Opponent's going to bolt a soul attendant. Now gain some life. Get rid of a planes. Now go to combat. Get in with the manifest. I mean, we're going to be able to gain a lot of life. The problem is, what if our opponent can through the breach Emrakul? Are we just literally dead? Probably. One, two, three, four, five, six. We would lose our entire board. Minus our mana? Yeah, you know, that's not good. Opponent scries to the bottom, untaps. Oh my goodness, it is through the breach Emrakul. Uh, yeah, well, we gained some life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Opponent goes to combat, hits us. Oh dear. One, two, three, four, five, six. We drop to 18. Emrakul shuffles back. I'll play a planes. Play a border post. Ruined Halo on Emrakul. <laughs> Although the problem is, like, Emrakul doesn't beat us by attacking us. Emrakul beats us by annihilating our board. Scalding Tarn for our opponent passes. Well, we will play a Knight of the White Orchid. Opponent remands. Well, Plains and Knight of the White Orchid. Snapcaster remand. Ay 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 ay. All right, so opponent remands. Draw some more cards. Can we ever run them out of action? Can we ever 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 run them out of action? Opponent untaps. Cracks a scalding tarn to thin their deck. Gets a steam vents. Tapped. Opponent plays a land. Goes to combat. Attacks us. Down to 16. Passes. Well, we will play a Knight of the White Orchid. Oh, come on. About it. Logic Knots. Well, play Nykthos. Pass the turn. Opponent's down to two cards in hand. Please, no more Emrakuls. Pout it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mystic Sanctuary. Do they even want Logic Knot? They do. Goes to combat. Well, okay. We will nick those. Mastery of the Unseen. And block. Kill the Snapcaster. Untap. Well, play a Oriok Champion. Planes. How much mana does this make? Eight, nine. Uh, yeah. Let's just pass and start. Star manifesting. Opponent untaps. Draws logic knot. Well, here comes the dorks. Nick those. Manifest. Border post. Gain a life. Manifest. Mastery of the unseen. Gain some life. Untap. Oh, it would be sweet to resolve that, but we know there's a logic knot. 8, 9, 10, 11. All right, so we will play Heliod. How much mana do we have? Eight? So we could pay. Is it worth it, though? I think we're going to not pay. I think just adding more more manifest to the board is better because it lets us beat a Emrakul. Like, we can just sack all the manifest orcs if our opponent does manage to reassemble. Man, this mastery of the scene has been obscene. <laughs> mastery of the obscene. Uh, yeah. Ballista. Gain a life. And... Nykthos, gain a life. Untap. I'll go to combat. Opponent. And let's see back Oriac Champion. Snapcaster. Sure. But he gains some life. Opponent blocks. Uh-huh. Down to five. We'll pass the turn again. I mean, we're just, we're all in on this Mastery of the Unseen. Make our opponent beat it if they can. And I don't know if they can. And our opponent cannot. And they scoop it up. And what would we have manifested? Ruined Halo, Weathered Wayfair. Well, I mean, 
That kind of worked. We actually survived an Emrakul hit. <laughs> survived an Emrakul hit and ended up uh, being able to win. That does not happen very often. I will. I mean, who knows where our overall record is going to end up with this deck. Are we going to be 3-2-2-3? Three, two, two, three? That remains to be seen. I will say we have won some weird ways that you normally would not win. Like through Emrakul hits, through lightning storms. Just weird, 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 weird. Uh, all right, so we will bring in our counter spell hate, bring in rest in peace, go down ley line of sanctity, and go down probably like a soul attendant and a eh, archangel. Try it like that. Now, well, grand abolisher does seem good if it sticks. That does shut down our opponent from countering all of our stuff. Well, okay, we'll keep this. This seems reasonable at a minimum. All right, opponent, what do you got? Flood is dread. Passes. Well, planes and a border post. Go. Opponent cracks. Steam vents. Dapped. And planes. Or er, <laughs> island. We draw. Grand Abolisher. Well, play the land. Play Night of the Light Orchid. Ooh, resolves. All right. So we get a planes, which is good. And then Weathered Wayfair. Go. Okay. That was not a bad turn. Opponent. Gets rid of the Weathered Wayfair. Ops. So we still got to be aware of the Emrakul. That is still what we're afraid of. We don't have Mastery of the Unseen going at the moment. Island. And passes. Well, play a Plains. Play a Grand Abolisher. Opponent counters. Oh, draws cards. Interesting. Uh, then we will rest in peace. Get in for two. Ooh, down to 17. I mean, we're not in bad shape, but this still doesn't beat an Emrakul. Flooded Strand for our opponent passing. Well, go to combat. Attack you. Hit ya. Down to 15. 13. Play Heliod. Play Weathered Wayfarer. Go. Opponent cracks. 12. Steve Vets. Oh, do they have it? Do they have Breach Emrakul? That is the biggest, the biggest and baddest of questions. If they don't, and we get to untap and activate Weathered Wayfair, then I really like where we're at. We're pretty close to just having lethal, too. Opponent, Steam Vents. Tapped. All right. Probably not getting Emrakuld. They could have Simeon Spirit Guide still. Okay, gonna Archmage's Charm our Wayfair. Yeah. Opponent passes. We draw Oriok Champion. Well, we will play Oriok Champion. And Mastery of the Unseen. And smack ya for all we got. Opponent blocks down to eight. Well, this is this is the turn of truth. Our opponent's got to kill us or deal with our board. Because of Grand Abolisher, they can't cryptic tap us. Mystic Sanctuary, nothing in the bin. Chandra. I mean, Chandra is very good for our opponent, but it doesn't kill Ori Champion or Heliod. So it doesn't actually just win them the game. Yep. So some stuff dies. Opponent passes. Nick those, Nick those. We draw. Planes. I'll go to combat. Kill Chandra, hit our opponent. Down to seven. Play the planes, pass the turn. Opponent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hmm. Yeah, Emrakul's Annihilation still scary. We're doing pretty good for not having Nick those either this game. Like our opponent's out of Chandra. Steam vents, tapped, passing. Well, let's mastery. Border post, gain a life. Grow, Oriac champion. Untap. I'll go to combat. Make them cryptic tap if they can. All right, cryptic tap draw. Sure. Well, we will Knight of the White Orchid. Gain a life. Grow, Knight of the White Orchid. Get a planes. Grand a Abolisher, gain a life. Grow Knight of the White Orchid. All right, opponent. All right. Now I think we can actually survive an Emrakul hit. And a post comes it up. Oh, we fed him. We fed him. <laughs> so we did get crushed by Willie Adele, which makes sense because Willie, I mean, Willie on Jun. What, what, can you, what can you do about Willie playing a Jun style deck in modern? You're probably going to get crushed by Willie, but that was a pretty good performance. And wow, did we have some sweet wins. Like, we had 
a redirect your lightning storm win, which I think is a first ever. We had a get annihilated by Emrakul, have the game go on for several more turns and still win win, <gasps> survive a Chandra Rathier board win. Like, that was a lot of really awesome things on a league. Well, we got one chest, one chest. Only one for a 3 2, but a little snack for the, for the children. <laughs> oh, wait. Sealed product. There we go. Wait, wait. Hang on. One or more. All right. Here we go. One of one. It could be anything. Give us a... Let's take a Hull Breacher. I think Hull Breacher is one of the most valuable cards. Uh, close. <laughs> Charm Breaker Devils. A little slow. It is a sweet card, and it can be a powerful card, and if you run tap with it, it can get pretty big, but... Yeah, a little slow. Doesn't really do anything to your next turn for the most part. And 20 play points, so meh, meh, meh. Well, that was a, that was a pretty interesting deck. I, I think maybe the most interesting part of it, and I guess we'll talk about it in the wrap-up, and I should stop rambling, but we didn't actually combo. I don't think we comboed once. Like, you see Heliata Walking Ballista, and you think, oh, okay, like, that's what the deck is built around. In this deck, yes, like, the threat of that is important, and it's nice that you can sometimes have it happen, but really... That didn't seem to be something that came up all that often in this deck, so interesting, interesting, interesting. Well, be back with a wrap-up. <laughs> so what did we learn this week about Mono White Devotion in Modern? And overall, we went 3-2 and two in our league, which, pretty reasonable finish. Like, not going to complain about going 3-2, and two, especially considering one of our losses was to Hall of Famer Willie Adele playing a Jun-style deck, which is kind of what Willie does. It was actually Rakdos, but close enough. That style of deck. So that makes sense that we would lose to Willie playing a classic Willie-style deck. However... The deck was sweet. Like, we did some really cool things, and we had a couple of the craziest wins we've had in a while. We actually beat an Emrakul Annihilator attack off of Through the Breach, which, that almost never happens. That's pretty rare. We also got a win by redirecting a Lightning Storm, by tutoring up a land with Weathered Wayfarer against Ad Nauseam to steal a win. So we had some really just weird, strange wins. Ad Nauseam match, I still cannot believe we won that. I think that is a matchup where we are incredibly unfair. Favored. Like, super, super unlikely to win. But our opponent killed themselves one game with a spoils of the vault. We got the incredibly unlikely to actually work Lightning Storm redirect. I've tried to redirect Lightning Storm many times. I don't think it's ever actually happened. But there's a first time for everything. So the deck, I mean, Mastery of the Unseen was very impressive. I think that was the biggest takeaway. We didn't really combo off hardly at all. I think we had one maybe combo kill with Heliad Walking Ballista. But for the most part, we got a winning record grinding out value with Mastery of the Unseen. And we saw the power of the enchantment. We saw it against the Is It Breach deck with so many counter spells where Mastery of the Unseen essentially just won us the game by itself. We get it down, our opponent's sitting on a handful of counters, and we're just like, sure, we'll pass the turn, manifest a couple times, maybe flip something up. Next turn, manifest a few more times, maybe flip something up. Just keep that snowball valuing, not caring about counter spells, eventually winning with 2-2 manifest. So the deck was impressive, and it was fun, and I enjoyed playing it, and it actually seemed pretty good. So anyway, that's about a white devotion. That's our much of room for this week. Thanks for watching i hope you all enjoyed it and i will talk to you soon thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed it help us out by clicking that like button down below and to keep up on all the latest and greatest click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos and if you want to check out some of our other sweet videos here and here